back everybody to the Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. Last time we met up with the princess, more so she came to our house, picked us up, we explored the town a little bit to enjoy the festivities, and then we watched her get turned to stone by some dick named Vadi. This time, we're waking up. Again. Oh, thank goodness you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Well, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling alright? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you have all heard. A sorcerer named Vadi has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Pecori blade, we likely could have broken the curse, but Vadi shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Picori? The Picori? Not much. Beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales. But the Picori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori who forged the sacred blade live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No, soldiers will not do. The Picori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no signs of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link? If Link has recovered, then yes. I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Picori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you, along with the broken Picori blade. So we get the broken Picori blade? This is the part of the sword needed to reforge a sacred sword. Don't lose it. And we get a sword of our own, the Smith Sword. It's sharp blade made by your grandfather. Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Vachi at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deep Wood Shrine. Once humans and Picori share that shrine as a meeting place, I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way and like to the forest, simply check your map. Press the start and then L or R buttons to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. Map of Hyrule, now you'll never get lost. But what they don't tell you us is it is not a complete map. We have to fill it in. Of course. I'm counting on you, Link. Only you can break Vati's curse and free the princess. And if we check it out, even turned to stone by Vati's curse, her eyes are filled with life. Hurry, save her. And yeah. What's the fastest I can go? <laughs> That's with the turbo. That's nuts. <laughs> and here we are. In Hyrule Field. we we'll notice that the way we left Castletown is now kind of blocked off by debris. So we don't have a choice but to go this way. Lon Lon Ranch. Moles. Ow. With all these soldiers around too, they don't do a damn thing.
Yeah, this, we're not going to see a whole lot of it. So you can see, you can come on to here. This is our item menu. Then we have our map, which already has two more spaces filled out. And we have our collection screen. Pieces of heart will fill these out as time goes on. But sleep is, well, sleep. And then you have your save option as always. Can't do anything with those either. But here we are officially in Minish Woods. Now, before going much further, I do want to switch this up. I much prefer the sword on the A button. Now, for this game, we're going to need a lot of money. But we'll need something else a lot more than just money. See, it gets nice and foggy. If we keep going... Help! Help me! Ouch! Won't somebody stop them? Ow, ow, ow! Help somebody! Can't anybody hear me? No, nope, can't hear you. I'm getting a piece of heart. Like four of them to make heart container. Now we can go back to where we saw that talking duck hat thing. Hey, hey kid, you there. Ow! Hey, don't just stand there, do something. Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Whew, well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself, but that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Ho oh, ho, I see. The Picori, you say, and Vati? Vati's cursed someone. What? The sacred blade? Is that so? I see. I see. You know, you and I have a, quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break the curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break his curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. The name is Hazelo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. There! Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My... It's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose my, a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press the select button, and I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a hopeless child. Yeah, we now have the signature Link hat. Hold on a moment, boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, yes, yeah, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how, in a world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if you were, but if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump. Yes? No. 
This stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minute size. Just stand on the stump and press the R button to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press the R button. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to the portal and press the R button. But there is one thing you must know. Being Minish-sized is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the Minish. And as the, your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Yeah, here we are as the Minish size. You don't always have to watch through that cutscene. Now you can also skip it. But you can see things on the overworld that you can't see when you're full sized Such as these moving pads. And now... Let's go meet some Minish. Welcome to the Minish Village. And it's amazing music. Hmm, it appears we have found the Minish Village. Pico Picori. Yeah, we can't understand them. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now. Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. No need to really do that. First, I want to head over this way and get another heart piece. Now you have two, collect two more to increase your life. You can destroy those, by the way. I don't think I've ever gotten a collectible from them, so... But if we go into here... Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Fistari. I watch the Abbey, as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a Jabbernut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the Barrel House, just south of here. So he tells us where the nut is. So if we go here, climb down the ladder. And here it is. Oh, Link. This must be the Jabbernut Fistari told you about. Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabbernut. You can now understand the language of the Minish. And to prove it, so you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us. The Elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Yep. You've heard of travelers who find kinstone and get really lucky? Well, that's all thanks to items made by us Minish. You see, we thrive on making humans happy. It gives us energy. But we can only do it in secret. Yeah, so they are responsible for items that we will see a little later. I'm getting set to leave for town and visit some of my old Minish friends there. You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live right here in Hyrule Town. Or live right in Hyrule Town. We Minish live in Hyrule Town and other places too, not just in these woods. Hmm, keep that in mind. So you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us? 
Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the Elder can help you. So he's talking about the Elder, whom... If we roll our fanny this way, we climb over his fence, break and enter into his home. Oh, you speak our language! It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. If we have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thanks for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Link. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Pecori blade. Ah, yes. And you've come here now hoping to have the blade reforged. Hmm, well... If that's what you're after, you'll need the four mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Festari's Abbey. Speak with Festari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution, evil creatures have made... Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. So, we have collected some more progress. Let's go talk to Festari once again. You wish to go to the shrine very well this way. Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone, take this! And here we are. The first dungeon of the game, which we will take care of next time. So thank you much, and we'll see you all then.